this case is in the UK, but in the United States, the government is run by corporations. They don't work for the voters or the citizens. They work for their donors, which are the corporations and the oligarchs and the billionaires. We've had uh We've had studies done here in universities at Cambridge that showed that 80 if you're in the bottom 80 percent of wage earners, what you want is never reflected in legislation. So we live in an oligarchy. We only have the we, we pay fealty to democracy in the United States. Is it the same way in the U.K.? Yes. I mean, they should wear these NASCAR suits with the badges of all their sponsors uh, clearly on view. But of course, they don't. Uh, it's the hidden hand of uh, uh, corporatist corruption uh, that is uh, involved in the lobby system. It's not even necessarily handing over monies in brown envelopes. It's the feeling that they are all part of the same club and that when they're finished in politics, they'll uh, go through the revolving door and they'll get jobs, highly paid positions with these companies who they have been favoring with their policies throughout their time in public office. Tony Blair, three times Prime Minister of Britain, is currently receiving nine million pounds a year from the Saudi Arabian dictatorship, from the crown prince that murdered uh, Jamal Khashoggi, according to the United Nations report this very day. Nobody ever asks him, no journalist ever asks him, should you be taking nine million blood-soaked banknotes from these people, and that's only a tiny part of his. Tony Blair's worth a hundred million pounds. He owns 28 homes. He's being repaid by the banks, by the uh, 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 regimes that he favored when he had the political power to do so. That's the ultimate in corruption.